Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we learned some more stuff about Windows 11 today. It's a kind of an interesting uh, thing that's happening here. Um, so we've learned changes to the Windows Insider program, and um, where, of course, insiders and the dev channel soon might be able to uh, join the beta channel if they want to. And of course, there will be testing of features, and they were saying that Dev Channel will be mostly testing uh, features that might or might not make it. Now, one of the interesting things about the regular version of Windows 11, a lot of you are asking me all the time, you know, how are we going to get updates in Windows 11? It seems that Microsoft is working this year on having us updated through different methods, and they have different names for each method. So, first of all, there will be the annual cumulative update that will actually be one of the big updates for Windows 11 every year. But we're not going to have updates only once a year in all the different features of Windows 11. We'll get features here and there added as time goes by. And every year at the end or the second half of the year, the big update will be there for more stuff. So the first one that they talk about is something called Feature Experience Packs. So this apparently will be in addition to what Windows Update can bring us. So of course, you know, some of the updates with bug fixes, the Patch Tuesday updates come through Windows Update. Now it seems that some of these features that Windows 11 will get will be delivered through this, this Windows Update feature, but it will be simply called Feature Experience Packs. It's not clear if that's the name that they will actually have on the download experience. So if we have Windows Update, you know you know that Windows Updates have different names that show up here when you check for updates. So we're wondering if there will be features that will be actually um, in Windows Update and with the name Feature Experience Packs, which will mean we'll have something new that's going to update. Uh, in addition to the yearly major update. There's also going to be something called Online Service Experience Packs. The Online Service Experience Packs are going to be um, delivered as um, experience from the different um, apps, the different uh, packs that you can download directly. So. There's a feature experience pack, but there's online service experience packs that might actually be able or be available for download. And they will improve all the different aspects of Windows. So online service experience packs are focused on delivering improvements for specific experience. And that is going to show up. And actually, we already have an, ex uh, an example we were talking about Windows 11 when we got the Windows update last time. We had the new um, accounts information page where you have um, information about your account. And so um, that was something that you could have as a general profile. You could see all your accounts, your subscriptions, and uh, all of that at one place, which is nice. Your rewards, payment options, your order history, Everything that has to do with how you re interact with Microsoft services and um, the subscriptions you have. Well, that is one of the online service experience packs that is actually customized for a specific area of Windows. In this case, adding a page in the settings app. So this is kind of interesting. And finally, there will be another um, update experience that's going to be called the web experience packs. These will be available through the Microsoft Store, so they are probably going to add and update different apps that we'll already have. And this is going to be something that will update simply and change the apps and make them different or new, or if they have a new version of an app with new features, just like uh, the notepad, just like the media player that we have updated on the uh, Insider Rings. Well, that's Web Experience Packs coming through the um, Microsoft Store. So 
that's kind of a complex way that Microsoft is explaining stuff. But what we know is that uh, feature experience packs and online service experience packs will be available through Windows updates. There might be some content available through download of the Microsoft website, but uh, a lot of it will come through Windows updates. And only the web experience packs will be the ones available from the Microsoft Store. So three types of updates, if you want, to bring different Windows updates. So feature experience packs that will simply improve some of the features in Windows. Online service experience packs that would add something new to one part of Windows. A change in the settings app, for example. A change in the taskbar, whatever and the web experience pack, which is Microsoft Store stuff, so apps that will be updated uh, in Windows 11. So kind of an interesting look at how they're kind of figuring out how all of this is going to happen in Windows 11 uh, this year. And also um, this is um, kind of showing us that Windows 11 throughout 2022 will change much more than just that single update in the second half of the year, it'll change in multiple ways. So it's going to be interesting to see what comes up through all of this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.